hi, welcome. Today I will make a, a so-called nature side. There is a ton of oils and butter in this bowl here. Uh, so the oils are uh, coconut, cocoa butter, mango butter, shea butter, olive, castor, uh, babassu, avocado, and rice bran oil. And um, and here I have my uh, the lye water, but as I wanted to use uh, coconut milk also in this soap, so what I did I subtracted the quantity of coconut milk from the total of water I needed for this recipe, and um, so I mixed this quantity of water with the lye, but before. Instead of powder sugar, this time I used uh, maple syrup. It's a local product here, so I use that. And uh, and uh, what else did I use? Oh, and the kaolin clay also that I put in my water. Then I added my the lye, and then I added again some uh, uh, some silk. I used it last time and I loved it so much that I decided to use it again. So I hope I am clear with that. Otherwise you can ask me a question in the bottom of it. And uh, today I will use some uh, natural colors. I did my colors in uh, January. Uh, with a different plant powder. So this one is indigo. It's 29 grams of indigo powder with 14 ounces of olive oil that I mix in a 16 ounces mason jar. So I mix them well and I mix the, uh, when I do it. And then for a week I mix it two times a day. A week, yeah, a day for the week. And then I turn the pot every uh, two, three times uh, a month. So there is also anato seeds, 30 gram of anato seed plus 50 gram of olive oil. And orcanet, I think it's alcanet in English. So it's 22 gram of alcanet plus 11 ounces of, uh, of uh, oil. And my base will be uh, kaolin clay and coconut milk. And my essential oil is uh, ger geranium bourbon. It's pelargonium graeveolens plus uh, litsea cubida and fennel. Fennel, it smells wonderful. to emulsion now. Mm. When I stick blend the smell of chocolate just filled the room. <laughs> oh, it's my biggest weakness. I can't I can't resist chocolate. Oh my god. Very nice. And now I will uh, measure, oh, my measuring cup. Okay, now I will uh, keep, I will pour 100 grams for each color. I can eyeball this because I use those cups very often. But, uh, no, that's not true. I don't use them often. I use them sometimes. Anyhow, uh, I know what uh, is 100 gram in those little cups, so it is uh, that. That's all. Okay, I said that my colors are made of oils. 
So I calculated about uh, about nine grand per color. So do, some are eight, some are ten, but it's a total of twenty eight grams of colored oil. So that is three percent of uh, surfactant in this case. And as I did uh, a lye reduction of five percent in soap calc, so that is altogether eight percent surfactant for this soap. Whew. Okay, my mold. I don't really know what I'm going to do at this point. Uh, oof, my essential oil. I was about to forget them. I just prevented a national catastrophe here. afraid I will smear everything. It's very, very, very liquid, as you see. Most probably too much. It would have been better a bit thicker, but this is it. I will bring uh, that soap now in my de dehydrator at 50 degrees centigrade for three hours. After three hours, I turn off the heat, and when it's cold, I take it out and I cut it. There are people who say it's ready to use then. Others say that it will be ready in a week or so. And I wait a month because I do them for customers. So I take no chance. This woman is very cautious. So thank you for your visit. Welcome to the new, scribe, the new subscriber and see you soon.